Hey there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny homes and share stories of people living alternatively. In today's video, we meet a large family who decided to downsize to live full-time in a renovated RV with their four young children. So what is life really like for an American nomadic family? Well, you're about to find out. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time I publish a new tour. And I'm Jason. And, and we, we are, are the Stones! Just like you and I. We are made up of Jason, Leanna, Constance, Bernadette, Musa, and Nelson. And Lola, our little puppy. We decided together to move to Zanzibar. We lived there for six years. There were so many things that were intense about living there and trying to learn to do life there. Finding ourselves in this lifestyle, I'm referring back to those formative years almost every day. We kind of came back from Zanzibar in a rush. It was all COVID related. Very quickly, we found ourselves just back in the flow of normal middle-class American life. Thankfully, we both felt like, what are we actually doing? Jason and I both together have always had this value for trying to live intentionally and build the life we want. We started to communicate to our family. Well, we're talking about taking a trip. We decided, okay, let's just kind of get something turnkey. We'll do our trip, we'll see what happens. We shopped and shopped and eventually found this on auction. It had a clean title. It said something to the effect of runs and drives. We bought it for $28,000. When I think about remodeling the rig, making it cozy, making it functional for us, those things are all really important. On the other hand, for us, getting on the road was important. I think what we realize now is this lifestyle only works if it works for our kids. I think that's a constant conversation. And when we see something that's not working, it's like, let's talk about that. It's been interesting to hear the kids' responses shift to less like, oh, I'm liking this trip, and more like, I'm liking this life. Welcome to our home on wheels. We are a large family. We like our creature comforts. And so we ended up going with a large vehicle that suits those needs. We've got a 2004 Alpha. The model is a Sia. It's a 40 foot total length. It's powered by a Caterpillar C7 diesel pusher in the back. We're heavy. We tow a minivan behind us on a car dolly. Our total gross weight combined is about 38.5. One thing we feel like they nailed, which we honestly haven't seen too often, um, is this is our garbage can access. And so we can pull it right out here, as you can see. It's got a opening hatch from inside the kitchen and they did a great job with storage. I'm a handyman kind of guy, like to have my tools, like to be able to work while we're on the road. So it's got really deep storage on that side, and then it's got uh, full pass-through storage on this side. Very conveniently designed. Again, big family. We've got our pantry, and then uh, mass amount of storage. It's a pass through, you can access from the front or the back. So that's been very, very nice. Uh, 
underneath here, we've got a three cylinder, 7,500 watt diesel generator. We have enough solar and uh, battery capacity that we don't run it too often, unless we're going to run some really high powered appliances. Uh, we run the instant pot at 1200 watts a lot. And um, if we're gonna run the air conditioning units, we still have those connected to the generator uh, rather than to the battery bank. So we have a, a 2000 watt inverter that was here when we got the rig. Right now it's working and working great. I wired in 2400 watts of solar. We've got six 395 watt panels at max capacity. We're 80 volts at about 30 amps. We realized that we were gonna be chasing the sun. We were gonna be eating outdoors a whole lot more than, than what we were used to. So it was a bit of an investment, uh, but we bought this uh, Camp Chef grill and we bought multiple attachments. Uh, we've got the barbecue on here now. We love to host. This has been so much more than a means of cooking food. It becomes a social kind of centerpiece. We've been really happy with it. All right, come on inside and we'll show you around. As a family of six, thinking about full timing and living on the road, it was super important to us to have a big rig. So we figured 40 foot would be a no brainer and we really wanted slide outs. The other factor is that my husband is super tall. He's 6'5", so he immediately Googled what is the tallest class A. That's what led us to this model, the Alpha. So something we love to do is to host and to have people in our home. The Alpha has a four foot slide in addition to the eight foot body. So it gives us this really nice big living area. We have had big groups of people in here and it's really cozy and it's comfortable. The couch actually is a sectional and it provides some extra storage under here and it can pull out to be a guest bed, so that's great. So one of the things we do love about this rig is that it comes with a lot of storage space. You've got the upper cabinets and a ton of kitchen cabinets. Another thing that is really cool is they put the trash here in the counter with these little covers, handy dandy covers, and you can access it from the outside, which is really awesome. We didn't do many modifications. We did cover over the kitchen window this specific rig has so many windows, which we love. It lets in all this amazing natural light. It's actually, I never thought I'd say it, but almost too much light. I realized I want some, I want some wall space too. I want places to hang pictures and things like that. With the slide out, we do have, you know, almost three times the average width here, which for our family really, really helps. There's a constant flow of chaos, but there's a place for it to go through. We had a couple priorities in deciding if we could pull this off in a way that worked for everybody. And one of the things we really wanted was to have a table space that we could all fit around, which is tricky because it's a lot of people. So Jason came up with this idea to stick a tabletop on top of a freezer so that we can also food hoard. And <laughs> so he made this little contraption and we love it. So this allows us to just head off into the wilderness and have plenty of food. Honestly, we eat most of our meals outside, so this ends up being more like the prep space and the, the gather space. The kids eat here, but as a family, we do typically eat outside. So we did change out the fridge. We replaced it with a residential fridge, full size. It's great for my very tall husband, but I do have to get on a stool to access my freezer. You might notice the theme of food being like everywhere in our house. We, it's a priority. <laughs> we, we love our food. So we have a great huge pantry here, which is awesome. It's about as much pantry space as I had in a normal house. This divider here, um, separates the living from the bedroom area and we love having that there just once the kids are in bed shut that door so back here in the bedroom we've got a lot packed in we've got the separate sink and toilet and shower 
all in their own areas, which we love as a big family. It allows everybody to be doing their things at the same time in their own spaces. Another thing we love about this rig is that it really does have a nice big shower and it even has a little bathtub on the bottom. It's about a four or five inch tub and we use that thing all the time. We thought about a lot of different sleeping arrangements. Where do you fit everybody? We just landed on building four little bunks into the wardrobe area. So we have the three bunks on the one side and then the little bunk on the other side. And that one has actually a door on it that we slide shut and that's where our little guy is. And he loves it, it's his little den. When we had the plan to make their bunks like this, we started realizing these are not just sleeping areas, these are actually their rooms. And it's actually really important to them that they like that space and that they feel good in that space and that they have an area for their things. And so we decided to wallpaper them. I let the kids all pick their own wallpaper. We built some little shelves in there. Even though the space is tiny, it has really given them ownership and they love being in their spaces, which I think is the cutest thing ever. This is my bed. It has dinosaurs. I'm Bernadette and this is my bed. I get the middle bed because I'm the middle person in our family. I have two of these, but one's a doggy. See? Hi, my name's Constance, and this is my bed. I sleep up here, and we have a stool that I can get onto my bed. My wallpaper are cranes. These stars glow in the night. And I have a box that I can put a bunch of things in, Play-Doh, um, a sticker. We've got the queen size bed here. It lifts up, there's storage under there, there's storage behind it. Put all of our hanging clothes over here in front of the window and we built in a little storage rack above that. That pretty much does it for clothes storage. We put a TV on the wall here and we turn this into movie zone and you know the whole family can pile on the bed and watch a movie together. I wanna hold your hand of sun and sky the glorious kings as she dips beneath the 